When will SpaceX finally get the green light for Starship's fifth test flight? And what's causing these delays? And what new risks are involved in this launch? Could this test be the one that finally sees the long-anticipated in-orbit engine ignition? And how will SpaceX's newly completed second launch tower at Starbase play a role in future missions? These are the questions we'll explore during a look at the latest developments surrounding SpaceX's Starship program and its upcoming Integrated Flight Test 5, or IFT-5. Now, SpaceX is steadily moving towards Starship's next test flight, known as Integrated Flight Test 5, but the path isn't without its challenges. The company has made notable progress by securing approval from Federal Communications Commission, which is a necessary regulatory step for the launch. However, the critical approval from the FAA is still pending. Without the FAA's go-ahead, the launch remains grounded at Starbase. And that's despite earlier plans to conduct the test in early August. Now, Elon initially targeted early August for the launch. Of course, that's what Elon does. It's always optimistic. But that date has come and gone with no launch in sight. And the FAA's approval is essential because it has the final say on whether Starship can take to the skies for its fifth test flight. And while the FCC's approval was an important milestone, the FAA's decision is the ultimate determinant of what and when the launch can proceed. Now, the first two tests, IFT-1 and IFT-2, were labeled as failures, but they provided valuable data that informed subsequent tests. IFT-3 marked the turning point with SpaceX achieving its first successful launch, and IFT-4 built on the success, delivering the most impressive performance to date and setting the stage for the much-anticipated IFT-5. Now, as SpaceX prepares for IFT-5, it isn't just sibling there. Uh, while waiting for the FAA's approval, they're still working. They're actively testing critical components that will be integral to the upcoming flight. One of the most notable developments is SpaceX's work on the launch pad and the tower arms, which are designed to catch the super heavy rocket booster post-flight. Now, this move known as the tower catch is one of the riskiest aspects of the upcoming test. It has never been attempted before, never been done, NBD. The tower catch involves using large arms, often referred to as chopsticks, to actually catch the 232-foot-tall Super Heavy booster after it returns from flight. And SpaceX has been conducting several simulations of the catch, fine-tuning this procedure. And in June, SpaceX began these tests by moving a section of the rocket booster to the launch pad and using the tower arms to simulate a catch and which also revealed areas that need some adjustment. Now, during these tests, uh, the tower arms were observed repeatedly impacting the side of the booster section, leading to components on one of the arms being replaced. And after the replacement, testing slowed down as SpaceX shifted its focus to other components of the launch system, particularly the second stage of Starship. Now, despite these setbacks, SpaceX resumed testing of the tower arms earlier this week while waiting for the FAA's decision. The booster piece was brought back to the launch pad where the arms were tested multiple times. The tower arms were tested about six times, actually, with various configurations being trialed. Some tests had the arms closing around the booster with, uh, you know, some touching of it, touched a little bit while others involve more direct interactions, simulating a close catch. And another important aspect of the upcoming test is the second stage of Starship, which has seen multiple static fires so far as part of the preparation for IFT-5. And although the full stack has flown four times already, SpaceX has yet to demonstrate an in-orbit engine ignition with the second stage. Tests could finally see that step being taken, potentially clearing a major hurdle in the development of Starship and paving the way for payload deployments such as Starlink satellites in upcoming flights. Now, Starship Flight 4, which is the most recent test, was the first time that both the Super Heavy Booster and the second stage successfully made a soft splashdown in the water. Now, the booster touched down in the Gulf of Mexico in the Starship upper stage, splashed down in the Indian Ocean. And now... Uh, if Flight 5 can repeat this, it could pave the way for SpaceX to bring the second stage back to the launch site for recovery after Flight 6 and IFT-5 could provide the necessary data to move closer to that goal. 
Now, while SpaceX waits for the FAA's decision, it's already looking ahead to future flights. The company has been busy developing the hardware for these missions, including significant upgrades to the rocket's engines. Um, earlier this month, SpaceX actually tested these engines, Raptor 3s, which features a simplified design that reduces weight and increases thrust. Now, these improvements are aimed at addressing issues that have caused problems in previous flights, such as engine fires and explosions. Now, the tests conducted earlier this month have provided valuable data that will help refine the engine's design and its performance. It's going to be more reliable. It's going to be more efficient as well. And SpaceX is finishing a complete replacement of the heat shield tiles on the second stage of Starship. And after Flight 4, SpaceX swapped out thousands of these tiles, which protect the rocket from the intense heat generated during re-entry. This was necessary because the top flap of the rocket caught fire during the previous flight due to improper tile application. And Elon Musk actually said this in, in the past. He said, this is probably going to happen. And the replacement of the heat shield tiles is part of SpaceX's efforts to improve the reliability of Starship. And by addressing these issues that arose during uh, Flight 4 and Flight 3, SpaceX hopes to ensure that the second stage can also return to Earth after future flights. Now, if this could happen, it would be a success of the tower catch maneuver as well. And this is a significant development. Now, it, down to Starbase, uh, this recent completion of the second launch tower happened. The new tower will eventually be used to launch and to catch starships in future missions, as far as we know. The addition of the second tower is a move that will ramp up SpaceX's launch cadence. And they're trying to improve the efficiency of this um, and also the recovery operations. So as of right now, we have heard like numerous different things about this next tower, but the second tower, that it'll be only a catch tower, but it'll also only be a launch tower or it could do all the things it could launch and catch things. So we're not 100% sure when this is going to become operational or actually what its main purpose will be. But overall, they have a lot of work to do on it so far, and it's going to take a while for them to get this completed, but they fully stacked the tower. They still have to put in the um, flame trench system. They have to do the elevator. They have to do all of the pulleys and the arms, and they have so many things, thousands and thousands of configurations. And they also have to make sure that it gets fuel to the booster and the rocket. It's a huge deal to have the second tower there. It's a really monumental task to get it stacked. But the most impressive thing will be when they actually get it completed. Now, the second tower's readiness could play a crucial role in future test flights coming up, potentially easing the burden of the first tower and maybe making it obsolete, which will allow them for rapid succession of launches and recoveries. And SpaceX plans to launch and land hundreds of starships per year in the future. And as we move closer to this potential launch of IFT-5, uh, we don't know when it's going to launch. Elon recently suggested that the launch could take place in about three weeks, which would push it to mid or late September. And this is a delay from the earlier target of August, but this is a complex thing. The FAA has to be involved. There's additional scrutiny this time due to the new tower catch maneuver. So let me know down in the comments below what you think is holding the FAA back from approving SpaceX for the next flight of Starship. And while you're down there, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons with maximum dynamic pressure. And if you subscribe, like, and also leave a comment, YouTube will start showing you more creators that are talking about SpaceX, NASA, and spaceflight. So not only will you get our Starship updates, but you will get to see many different perspectives. And please share this video on all your social media and send it to anyone that you think would be interested in this topic. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to spend it here and take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you in the next one.